Uh, before you get into it for serious, I want to level your audio. So if you want to do like some sample talking or... Uh... Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, check, 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 check. Yeah, oh. just, just like that. We've got a lot of contest entries, which is good. I think the $200 winning prize must have been the incentive, or they just wanted to show us their concepts. I don't know. So let's talk contest. 2019 Destination Deep Space, um, presented by the Boeing Company. Season contest number one is the prototype contest. We have a lot of entries. There were some entries that were hilarious and potential contest winners, but they weren't quite as safe as we would have liked them. So we're not going to show those, and they're not going to be winners. So whenever you do prototyping, make sure you're safe. We had Run Robot that almost attacked these two kids as it was trying to climb. That was pretty funny, and no one got hurt, I didn't think, in the video, but just remember to be safe out there as you do things. There were teams that had really cool intakes, there were some really cool hatch panel grabber systems. The funny thing also was they would send us these videos, and they would say, only show the video if we win. So all this stuff is mostly top secret, unless they were to get the $200 credits. I, I respect that. There was one of the videos where it was climbing to have three, and as it climbed, one of the people filming said, well, they, they didn't say anything, they just went, <laughs> Brett said, well, that, that's the sound you hear when something works. And I think that was the case with this robot. There was another, there was a robot that had a really good development board that was supporting their prototype. They had like a 2014, 15 PDB and a, a nice valve system that supported their prototype. So that was a pretty cool thing to see next to their prototype. There were some prototypes that were kind of janky some prototypes that were really robust. All of that stuff is great. Your prototypes don't have to be robust. They can be, they can be kind of janky and they can prove out your theory. So that's good to have that, even though it's not really show ready yet or competition ready yet. But our contest winner, we have chosen our contest winner, Team 333. I believe they're from New York City. Is it the Megalodons? Megalodons, yes. So. Nice, nice job, Megalodons. I love the teamwork of the two students that are pushing this robot around to pick up hatches and deposit hatches. And then everybody else on the team who's standing around just watching them work, it's kind of funny. But it's a very complete robot. Most teams would be very happy with that robot um, working that well this early in the season. So good job to Megalodons out of New York City. We had FTA training this past weekend. Actually, there were two different series of FTA training. There were how many people were at FTA training? Like a thousand. So a hundred smart people are getting taught about destination deep space, presented by the Boeing company, approximately. And once again, I think much like last year with Power Up, we have heard that the field is awesome and it's really easy to put together. It's not going to take a lot of time to set up. It's not going to be that hard and difficult to manage your events. It's not going to take much time to tear down. So kudos to the engineering and ops staff at first for getting us a field that is easily manageable. I'm still concerned if it can fit on a 24-foot box truck, but that's we'll see about that this summer. I mean, the FTAs might want to chime in here and say some words about what they thought, but they were telling me it was a very good weekend. Hi, it was a very good weekend. Wow, that, there you have it. I thought it was great to see all of my fellow FTAs <coughs> there. It's great to get together once a year and see all the wonderful people who make our regionals and district events run. I think one of the things that was really cool about FTA training this year is learning about all of the subtle little features that the FRC engineering staff has taken the time to put into FMS. So there's a lot of little things that most teams and people will never know about that help us FTAs do our job. And that's just awesome that they've taken our input over the years to make the software so much easier for us to use to help teams out. Latest update, update four, shows a revision to G4. 
how um, I think they gave us some more clarity regarding penalties if we hold one or two or three game pieces and if we had one in our robot we couldn't get rid of and we dropped another one, picked another one up, you're going to get multiple penalties. Anyway, read the update, understand G4, they have another version of it to help clarify how the referee should call penalties for multiple game piece controlling or hurting or launching, whatever. And the Q&A system is out. People are putting out questions. This is your old man advice regarding the QA system. I've actually given this advice to Q&A submitters over the years, and I haven't done it in a couple of years. And these people don't need your sarcasm in your questions. Have a serious question. They're putting in long hours for us to support our teams, support the build season, support the competition season. If you are trying to make a funny joke by putting in something funny into the Q&A, save it, save it for Chief Delphi, save it for something else. We don't need to see jokes in, in Q&A. That's my old man, get off my lawn type of speech regarding the, the Q&A. Things here at Andy Mark, we're pretty busy. We are, I probably shouldn't be eating lunch. I should be out there building parts because we have a back load of assemblies we got to build. I was actually building swerve and steers this morning. If you have a swerve and steer, I, I might have built it or part of it this morning. I have carrots. I had a lot more. I have grapes. Yellow grapes, not purple grapes. You mean green? These are green grapes. And I have salami. Like a salami salad? No, it's not salami salad. That's a good idea. Yeah, these are green grapes. I don't know why I said yellow grapes. We all have things to do. So do you. We will see you on Wednesday. We'll have some pizza. And I think it's, I think it's from one of our favorite pizza places this week. Get back to work. Be safe. We'll see you Wednesday. I just keep waiting for you to say, what's up, Doc? <laughs> well, these kids, they wouldn't get that joke. Bugs Bunny is making the rounds. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up, Doc?